What's up, y'all? About to head out to practice. Uh, this is a day in the life of Seth Curry. Follow me. D-League, travel is tough, so uh, especially when you have so many games in, in a row like we do. We got uh, a home game, then we go on the road and play a back-to-back -back where we have to travel the next day, come back and play at home. I think preparing for that, you got to take care of your body. It's a light workout, lift before practice, uh, try to get myself warmed up a little bit. One of the things I liked about Seth is that when he comes in, he comes in and works with the workout every day, stay focused, moving through the workout, getting his blood pressure up, getting everything ready for the day ahead in practice. Today was a more of a lighter day in practice. Uh, came in, got some shots up, ran through some. Uh, the other team's plays we're going to play tomorrow, try to get familiar with their play sets and how we're going to guard them. Get ready for end of game situations like say we need a, a last second shot or something like that. We went over those type of plays. I try to be as aggressive as I can, whether it's here in the D League or in the NBA. I mean, teams are going to call me up for what I do. Uh, and that's shooting the ball, being aggressive, uh, being a scoring type point guard. And when I'm up there in the, in the NBA or in the D-League, I'm, I'm playing the exact same way, have the same mindset. And, and that's one of being aggressive, having no fear, and just and trying to make as many plays as I can. One of the foundations of my game is my three-point shot. When, when you get in the gym every day, you have to work on it. And uh, I mean, I shoot all types of different threes, whether it's off the dribbles, uh, step backs, in transition, standstill type shots. And I mean, that's stuff you work on in practice. And, and when you're scrimmaging and things like that, so when you get to the game, people know that's what you do. I think growing up watching my dad, he was a kind of a three-point specialist when he played in the NBA, so I always wanted to be like him, shoot deep shots and things like that. But early on when I was younger and I, I wasn't really strong enough to shoot threes, my dad wouldn't let me and my brother shoot from outside the paint. We had to work on our form. I think having that solid foundation of shooting the right way and then getting better from longer distances allow you to be a good three-point shooter. Growing up, I always looked up to my brother, whether it's video games, schoolwork, uh, basketball, whatever it is, sports. I mean, we always competed, and I think he made me better uh, growing up, and I made him better. It's good to have somebody that you can talk about life and somebody that me personally I can look up to and, and strive to be where he's at. Some people get to the professional level and spend too much time being around the game. They kind of get tired of it and think of it more as a job. But for me, it's, it's always fun. I mean, even though it is a job now and it's very serious, this is my dream my whole life to be able to play basketball for a living every day. And, and being able to do that is, is, is a blessing. 